In this video, I'm going to share with you the side effects and the differences between tamsulosin or Flomax and uh, Finasteride, two medications for enlarged prostate. So if you're wondering which one is right for you, stay tuned to find out. Hi, Jidos the PharmD here. Welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let us get started. Tamsulosin and finasteride are the two of the most common medications prescribed for men with an enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. Benign means not cancer, so it should not be confused with the prostate cancer. Enlarged prostate or BPH occurs when the prostate glands grows and it becomes too large and presses against the urethra, which is the tube that transports urine from the bladder to the outside the body. It is the most common prostate problem that affects men at the age and it causes difficult urinating, frequent urination, especially at night, and incomplete bladder emptying. Before we discuss the differences between tamsulosin and uh, finasteride and their side effects, the symptoms of enlarged prostate may be reduced by lifestyle changes such as decreasing or cutting out alcohol and coffee intake, avoiding drinking fluids especially before bedtime, doing regular exercise, try double voiding meaning to urinate, wait a few seconds, relax and try to urinate again, avoiding taking antihistamines and uh, decongestants which are medications for colds and allergies. So what are the differences between tamsulosin and uh, finasteride? Even though both tamsulosin and finasteride are used for an enlarged prostate, they belong to two different drug classes. Tamsulosin belongs to a drug class called an alpha-1 receptor blocker. It helps patients urinate more easily by relaxing the muscles in the prostate and bladder. On the other hand, finasteride, also known as proscar, belongs to a drug class called 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. It inhibits the production of a male hormone called dihydrotestosterone or DHT, which slows down the development and the growth of the prostate gland. As a result, it shrinks the prostate size and improves the symptoms of an enlarged prostate. The lower dose of finasteride 1 mg or Propecia is used to treat a loss in adult men. So you may ask, which one of the two medications will work faster? Well, due to different mechanisms of action between the two drugs, tamsulosin start to work fast within a few days. However, it may take several weeks of continuous use to see its full benefits. On the other hand, finasteride may take six months or more before you notice the symptoms improving. Now, let us look at the common side effects of tamsulosin and uh, finasteride. Just like all other medications, both tamsulosin and finasteride may cause unwanted side effects. So what are the side effects of tamsulosin? Reported common side effects of tamsulosin include headache, feeling dizzy, nasal congestion or running nose, ejaculation problems, decreased libido or low sex drive, back pain, chest pain, diarrhea, nausea and feeling weak. But in some cases, tamsulosin may cause serious side effects such as allergic reactions, priapism, which is a painful and long-lasting erection, orthostatic hypotension, which is a low blood pressure that happens when you stand up after laying down or sitting. So watch signs and symptoms of hypertension such as dizziness and fainting. Consult your doctor right away if you experience any signs or symptoms of serious side effects. Now, what are the side effects of finasteride? Common side effects that may occur from taking finasteride include decreased libido or low sex drive, erectile dysfunction, which is trouble getting or keeping an erection, decreased ejaculation volume, ejaculation problems, and orgasm disorder, which is difficult reaching orgasm. According to the clinical studies, some of the sexual side effects may continue 
even after stopping taking the medication. Finasteride may cause more serious side effects. So notify your doctor right away if you've experienced any of the following. Allergic reactions, a bump or swelling in the breast, breast pain or tenderness, nipple discharge, gynecomastia, which is increased breast size, pain in the testicles, depression, and in some cases, male breast cancer has been reported. The side effects we just discussed are not all possible side effects that may occur from taking tamsulosine or finasteride. If they do not improve or continue to bother you, or if you notice any other side effects not mentioned above, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Please let me know in the comments below if you have experienced any of the side effects. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please like, subscribe, ring the bell icon for the future videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye.